can stand here. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Are you enjoying this amazing spring weather? Oh my God, it's so nice out. Um, I am so happy that you chose to spend your evening here uh, with Jamie Stone's Folk Life. This is going to be an amazing show. My name is Leah Davis, and I serve as the music director here at First Unitarian Denver. Hey, thanks. Uh, so tonight is, was, our, officially our season closer, but for the first time ever, we're having a bonus concert this season. It's uh, Sunday, May 19th at 1 p.m., so not our normal time. Um, and um, you heard it here first, we are welcoming the Brad Good Quartet to our sanctuary um, with a special guest vibraphonist. So vibraphone tonight, vibraphone May 19th. I'm really excited. Um, so mark your calendars and um, join our mailing list and you will get, get all the information about that. I wanna welcome folks who are watching online uh, we offer a live stream of our concert without a paywall, um, but we encourage you to make a donation to our concert series. Um, so go to, oh wow, I haven't said this in a while. Visit tiny.cc forward slash FUSD hyphen give. And then you select give to Capitol Hill Concerts in the drop down menu. Ah. Uh, Capitol Hill Concerts receives financial support from the law office of Marty Moore. Marty has provided wills, trusts, estate planning, and probate services since 1997, bringing peace of mind by guiding clients through a complex and emotional process with experience, compassion, and individualized care. Marty offers meetings in Denver, Boulder, and online and uh, serving people of any race, religion, identity, and expression. And you can learn more at martymorelaw.com. All right, so part of our mission here at Capitol Hill Concerts is to support good work happening in our community. And our artists choose a nonprofit that is doing work that's meaningful to them. So Jamie uh, selected the organization ReVision, and uh, we have Liz Weintraub and Carolina Jaime from Revision here to tell you a little bit more about the important work they're doing. So I'd like to welcome um, Carolina and Liz to the stage. Good evening, everyone. I'm so sorry. Just pulled out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, good evening. Uh, it's such an honor to be here tonight. Thank you so much to First Unitarian Denver, to Capitol Hill Concerts, uh, Brian in the back for helping bring us here tonight. Um, and thank you so much, Jamie Stone. You'll have to let us know how you heard about revision. <laughs> Please. Um, right now? No. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> Um, it's a true honor to be here tonight and to share this space with all of you in this beautiful sanctuary and to um, share a little bit more about our organization quickly. My name is Liz Weintraub. I'm the Director of Operations at Revision, and I'm here with my colleague, Carolina. Um, and we wanted to um, just tell you a little bit about Revision. Um, since uh, 2007, Revision has been working in the neighborhood of Westwood to help address the issues of um, affordable um, uh, and uh, access to affordable and fresh food. Um, and we started with our flagship program um, back in the early uh, aughts, I would say, um, to help residents establish backyard gardens to grow their own fresh food. We were a very small team um, working in just one neighborhood. Uh, since then, we have really taken off as an organization. Um, we have some really exciting new programs going on. We uh, continue to establish backyard gardens in Westwood every year. Uh, we also establish champion gardens where we work at community centers with multiple families and many in one, just one garden. Um, 
and work with families to um, continue to teach folks about um, how to grow their own um, healthy, nutritious food. Uh, we also are, uh, we have a urban farm on our property, um, and we are recently um, starting in some really exciting new uh, farm properties where we're going to um, s expand our urban agriculture footprint across Southwest Denver. Um, and what this means is we're going to literally continue, uh, we're going to add hundreds of thousands of pounds to our already abundant harvest um, each year, and we also employed, um, uh, provide employment opportunities to folks in the community. Um, and so this is a point that I want to, um, I can't leave the stage without making, is that the people are really what make up um, this organization. Um, we have a team of promotoras. A promotora is um, usually a, a female Latino Westwood, Westwood resident. Um, who has been um, identified as a leader and brought into our organization to train to help lead our programs, inform the work that we do, and build trust across the community. Um, they are the backbone of everything that we do. And when we expand our urban agriculture footprint, we are providing an opportunity to employ more folks from the community with apprenticeships, part-time work, and full-time work. And those promotoras start with our organization and grow into full-time leadership roles with us. And so when you support Revision, you're supporting access to affordable, healthy food across Southwest Denver, as well as those important employment opportunities that really create an, a local economy owned and run by the community. So thank you so much. And um, there's so much more that I, we want to sit, tell you about Revision. So please find us at intermission. We want to talk to you about our no-cost grocery, our youth um, education initiatives, and everything else that we do. So thank you so much for having us tonight. Thank you so much, Jamie. And enjoy the show. <laughs> So I encourage you to make a donation at the intermission. Everything that goes in the baskets at intermission will go directly to support Revision, and we'll have some snacks and beverages uh, out there. So at this time, I'd like to just ask you to silence your mobile devices, and uh, if you haven't found them yet, our restrooms are out in this room and to your left. So I am um, I'm really excited for tonight. I'm predicting a lot of musical alchemy. So would you please join me in welcoming, already on the stage, Jamie Stone's Folk Life.
This is a song that comes from the Georgia Sea Islands. Um, actually, it comes from a church community down um, in St. John's Island. Um, and uh, this is one that I love to sing. It's, uh, it's an old spiritual, but it um, doesn't mention Jesus, which, you know, maybe you're into that kind of thing. And if you are, you can feel free to sing along. It's called That's All Right.
soul's got a seat up in the kingdom, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's gonna be alright, since my soul's got a seat up in the kingdom, it's alright.
Hey friends, how are we doing? Excellent. Um, I'm really interested in um, uh, country music, um, mostly from other countries. <laughs> and um, everywhere you go, um, people make country music and it sounds nothing like the country music from another country, um, which has sort of been a lifelong fascination of mine. Um, and uh, in 2007 or so, I spent three months in uh, Mali, West Africa, um, learning about the African roots of the banjo um, and just studying and playing music with all kinds of people who played koras and balafons and ngonis. And, um, and when I was there, I got to hear a really amazing guitar player um, and songwriter named Bubakar Traore, um, who's still alive. He's 86 years old. He still lives in Bamako. Um, and uh, um, I spent 10 years learning this song. Um, uh, I'm going to sing it in his language, um, which is Malenke. Um, and the chorus, which you can sing along, um, the, the main hook of the chorus, it just says Sagolo. Can you try that? Sagolo. Yeah. Sagolo means the, the skin uh, of a serpent. Um, uh, so there's, he sings the skin of a serpent, uh, skin of a cobra, uh, skin um, of a python. Um, and it's a, it's a metaphor for the way that we uh, uh, eventually uh, leave our lives and uh, leave behind, hopefully, a legacy um, for future generations. So uh, this is Sagolo by Bubakar Traore.
te sale to te sala mali meno wa to te sala ya de ape sale to te sala mali meno wa to te sala ya de Sai to te sala, ali te lo va to te sala y ande. Ahimne be sai to te sala, ali te lo va to te sala y ande. Sagulo minan gulu, sagulo etena dumulu y ande. Sagulo minan gulu, sagulo etena dumulu. Sagulo mini nangulu, sagulo etena dumulu yande. Sagulo mini nangulu, sagulo etena dumulu yande. Sagulo, 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 sagulo. Make welcome the man who plays every instrument known to mankind, Greg Harris. Okay, we're going to play a song that I made up. Um, at least, this is what I told my wife um, when I um, played her this song uh, about a woman whose name is not hers. <laughs> I was during the pandemic and I was writing and I was just totally like channeled this whole story like a novel um, and came up and excitedly played it for her um, without thinking at all um, <laughs> about the contents of the song. And at the end I was like, what did you think? And she went, who's Katie? Your neckline is a long coast, I feel the waves. We swim past. Below we made. We're soaking, but back on shore. Katie, do you have that feeling that you can't ignore? Maybe I'm just crazy telling you I love you more. You're my shoreline, and I'm your tide. The full moon pulls me in sight. We're twofold, but feel like one. Katie, do you know that we only just begun? Oh, I don't think I've ever felt like this with anyone. Heartache comes in waves 
Like witchcraft, you turned away The silence without you here Katie, where'd you go now? How could you just disappear? Lately I feel crazy, who am I without you near? Frozen lake house, it's quiet now There's no one to catch my fall I dreamt you and now you're gone can you hear me? I just don't know what went wrong Kate, if you were near me, I'd be singing you this song Kate, I still have an emptiness that I can't fill Maybe I'm just crazy telling you I love you still Do you mind if we play something brand new? Excellent. That's the spirit. Um, this is a song I just finished recently um, and have yet to think about what to say about it. It's like first you have to write the thing so that you don't have to say something in a different form and then you have to figure out what to say about it. Um, this is a song about um, the way in which we all seem to forget, or at least I do, and need to be reminded of um, the miracle of being alive. And sometimes it's being out in the natural world that um, is the best reminder. So this is a song I mostly wrote as a reminder to myself, and then um, maybe it'll be helpful to others. It's called You Are Alive. It's a true story. Let the candle burn low till the midnight hour. Say the people all around to get them tired. Take a tambourine and give it a shake. I feel the rhythm in your hips till your body aches. Till your body aches. Those trees are alive. We're far from alone The world still talks in ancient tones Hear the coastline howl, feel the heavy rain The moon makes the tide and you wax and wane How you wax and wane You Are alive. You are alive. Find a seam of earth full of golden loam, just enough mud to call your own. 
Drink a mouthful of sea and cry out the salt or Maybe everything you feel is not your fault Oh, it's not your fault I catch a star overhead Feel the world behind You can start all over like you hit rewind But keep it in your heart Where it'll never leave You got to ease down the road Or when you're trying to grieve Or when you're trying to grieve You Or a lie, I, I. you or a lie. See the morning light, it's pink and blue Try to look outside your field of view Cause the day's gonna break and your heart will too So don't stop short of what you're here to do Or what you're here to do On the bass and guitar and keyboards, please make welcome and Manuel Alexander. We're going to play some more African music. Is that cool with you? I have a good friend in Paris named Corey Sesnik, um, who around the time I was traveling in West Africa, um, spent um, a year um, 
traveling around and making field recordings in Kenya um, and visiting um, all kinds of musicians and uh, collecting songs. And um, he, uh, he taught me this next one um, that actually comes from um, Malawi, um, where there's a really amazing tradition of a lot of music, but some very cool um, acoustic guitar music. Um, and uh, this is one um, called Mishama Oma. Thank you. 
So good, right? Like, you could almost just play that the whole night. Um, when I was in Mali, people would play songs for like 15 minutes. That's like the normal length of a song. It's great, right? Yeah. Um, okay, we're going to play a Bob Dylan song um, that involves me entirely retuning the guitar. Um, my parents had a really nice record collection when I was growing up. Anybody else have a record collection growing up? Anybody else still have a record collection? Amazing. It's, it's, back, it's back in style. Um, and um, among other things, they had literally every Bob Dylan record. Um, so um, these songs are indelible in my brain. And uh, this is one from the 70s um, called Buckets of Rain. Also, I'm not finished tuning. Um, I once went to see um, the great sitar master Ravi Shankar play um, close, close to the end of his touring days. Um, and uh, he walked on stage and there was probably a 10 minute standing ovation um, people just like, you know, clapping and carrying on in reverence. Um, and, uh, and then he sits down and he pulls out a sitar. Um, and then he begins to tune the entire thing, like all 36 strings. Um, and it seemed like it hadn't been out of the case since he was in India. Um, and um, I suddenly felt like all the time I spent worrying on stage about taking up too much airtime, tuning my instruments was totally fine. He was totally serene the whole time. It's just like, this is what needs to happen. So I try and, I try and channel Ravi Shankar wherever he is.
Life is sad, life is a bust All you can do is do what you must You do what you must do and you do it well I do it for you, honey baby can't you tell Buckets of rain, buckets of tears Got all them buckets coming out of my ears Buckets of moonbeams in my hand You got all the love, honey baby I can stand We're going to play one more song, and then we're going to take a short break. You guys with us? Yeah. Amazing. Um, and before we play this last one, um, there are different ways of sharing music, um, and uh, this is one of the best. Just hanging out in a room, all just kind of taking it in. Um, and um, also, there's um, these other amazing ways where you get to take the music with you um, and listen to it, you know, anywhere, anytime. Um, we have taken it for granted, but it's a really amazing thing. And there's a lot involved in making it happen. Um, and I've made eight records, um, plus a bunch of other things. Um, and uh, I have many of them here tonight. So how many people still um, buy CDs? Just, oh yeah, look at that, excellent. Um, well, um, there's this funny thing called supply and demand, um, and I have a very large supply of my own CDs. Um, and uh, um, so, um, basically I have more of them than you do, and um, I would love to, you know, flip that around. Um, so the CDs this evening out on the table um, are pay what you want. You can pay literally nothing for them, and that is totally great. And you can pay any amount of money for them, um, which is also great. Um, and that will enable me to keep making more music that I can release out into the world. And for those of you that gave up on CDs a long time ago, um, you can also buy my entire digital collection for $30. Um, it's eight albums with all the liner notes, plus a bunch of unreleased singles and things. Um, and, um, oh, you're, you're wondering, why would I buy them if I can get them for free on the internet? Um, and the answer is because then we can keep making more music. So if that speaks to you, um, feel free to support recorded music in that way. Um, and we're going to play a song from my last record. Um, this one is about uh, my Saturn returns, maybe yours. Um, this is that astrological phenomenon where about every 30 years, Saturn is... Oh, there it is. That's the sound of Saturn. Um, Saturn is uh, back in the same spot that it was on the moment you were born, every 30 years. So, um, you know, maybe your next one is 60 or maybe your next one is 90. Um, but it tends to be a time of uh, great reckoning, and that's what this one's about. It's called Mouth the Words. Thank you. 
to make amends Mouth the words you couldn't say You'll be cured of all things you forgot to pray First reverse Change your course Cast the curse There your eyes tumble your bed under Chiron's glow. Your sail is full. The harbor's past, you feel the pull. It's ten below, you hardly speak. Tom below, the islands swim out past the creek. But do you feel it all? Strike a spark Wrap your arms around the dark Mountain Saturn turns Redesign everything you ever learned You gotta keep it pinned To your back and feel the wind Stay. Fever burns everything you didn't say Thank you so much. We'll be back in a bit with lots more music.
wonder if we'll pull this off. I wonder if we'll pull it off. Um, hear ye, hear ye, hark, I don't know. How are we doing? Excellent, us too. Um, okay, we're gonna start out. Um, I did a practice for about a year where um, like, once a week, I would wake up in the morning and completely retune my banjo so it was unfamiliar and I had no idea um, what went where. Um, and I would write a song in one sitting. Um, and, um, and then I never played any of them. Um, it was just like a fun experiment. Um, and then right before uh, our last rehearsal, I thought, Maybe I'll play one of those. So this is one of those. Um, it's called Sun Dogs.
please make welcome your new favorite drummer, Kevin Matthews. Um, this next song is one that I wrote about the way in which um, it seems like um, we human beings uh, tend to need to learn the same lesson uh, over and over and over and over again. Has anyone else noticed this phenomenon? No way, man. Maybe it's just me. So this song takes place in uh, different places on the front lines of a changing climate, and it's called The Lesson.
it's a lesson you have heard before There's a bird out in the clearing You hold it in your hand This is everything you asked for All the beauty you can stand And now you've found the shore is more It's a lesson you've been yearning for When I was in Mali, I um, got to meet um, one of my favorite musicians in the whole wide world. His name is Tumani Djabate. Um, he plays a 21-string African harp called a kora, um, and he comes from a line of musicians. Um, you know, in uh, West Africa, it's still um, like it was here. Um, uh, several generations ago. It used to be that if your last name was Baker, it's because that's what your family did. If your last name was Smith, you were Smiths. Um, and uh, it was very handy. Um, and uh, things have changed quite a bit here. Um, but in, in Mali, certainly, um, this is still like that. So if your last name is Koyate or Djabate, um, uh, chances are you come from a long line of musicians uh, and storytellers. They call them griots. They're kind of like soothsayers and culture bearers um, and so Tumani came from uh, 70 generations of musicians um, and um, I uh, got to meet him and he invited me to sit in with his band and it was uh, one of the highlights of uh, my musical life for sure um, and I learned this song of his um, as most of these songs um, are kind of traditional that people put their own spin on it. Um, you know, I, I like to say that folk music is like a game of broken telephone across generations. Um, so you learn something um, from your ancestors and uh, change it to suit your sensibilities and the time you live in, and then um, lob it over to the next generation who will invariably change it. And uh, that, to me, is the best definition of what folk music is. Um, so this is a, a song that has ancient origins, but Tumani calls it Ellen Road, which is a, a street he lived on in London, England for a time.
Um, so we're going to play now a very old song. Um, this is one that's um, from this collection of old ballads that made their way um, from the British Isles to the Appalachian Mountains. Um, and slowly over time, they've uh, shed verses as people have developed more technology um, and less attention span. Um, so back in the day, you know, before electricity, um, you would tell these long stories in song. Um, sometimes they would have 30 verses because there was really not much else to do. Um, and then, you know, once there was competition for nighttime attention, uh, the stories got shorter. But I, I really like this one because most of the ballads, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, death uh, and darkness in them. Um, and uh, uh, let's just say that if you are uh, a woman in an old ballad, uh, chances are you're going to die by the third verse. Um, so they're not exactly the safest of spaces, uh, these old songs. Um, but I like this one because it's, it's uh, not, not cut from that same cloth. Um, this one's kind of like a feminist power ballad from the 1400s or something. Um, and uh, it's about a, a woman who falls in love with uh, an itinerant musician. Um, and uh, um, they like, you know, go off into the night uh, making music and um, having fun together and um, that would all be well and good but then the woman's husband comes home and um, he's uh, very upset and as men have done through the ages uh, he tries a whole host of things that don't work um, he tries um, guilt you know like what about the children etc but she's not having it um, he kind of gets on his high horse and um, tries all the things um, and uh, uh, eventually she just uh, waves him goodbye and goes off happily ever after with this uh, gypsy musician. I've kind of just told you the whole thing. Do you still want to hear the song? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this is called Blackjack Davy. Jack Davy to roam with the black 
Jack Davy. Oh, I'll forsake our house and home. Oh, I'll forsake our baby. Oh, I'll forsake the one I love to roam with Black Jack Davy. To roam with Black Jack Davy. Take off, take off your buckskin gloves, all made of Spanish leather. And jump behind me on my horse, or we'll ride home together, or we'll ride home together. Oh, I'll take off my buckskin gloves, all made of, of, of Spanish leather. And give to you my lily white hand and say goodbye forever and say goodbye forever. Last night I slept in a warm feather bed by the side of my little baby. Tonight I'll sleep in the mud and rain in the arms of Black Jack Davy. In the arms of Black Jack Davy. Every now and again, um, I get completely obsessed with the song and can't get it out of my head. And uh, uh, sometime late last year, um, I discovered an artist who um, goes by the name of Son of Cloud. Um, and you should check out his music. Um, he's an incredible songwriter um, and music producer. And this is one of his songs that I love and we're gonna do. Never thought I'd end up this way Waking up by myself Walking this dog alone Watching the ice caps melt All of these plans I made Just crumbling at my feet While I'm making scrambled eggs And trying to change the sheets But if I have to grow weaker stronger if I have to die a little in order to live longer let myself sink lower in order to reach higher learn how to be fool in order to grow wiser 
May I consider it all joy May I consider it joy May I consider it joy Cause we are created by being destroyed Will you tell me it's not my fault Said that I did my best Still I wake up before the sun With my heart beating in my chest Well the worst is behind me now Well I can give thanks for that I try and give thanks for that Oh I can give thanks for that But if I have to grow weaker in order to grow stronger If I have to die a little In order to live longer Let myself sink lower In order to reach higher Learn how to be a fool In order to grow wiser May I consider it all joy May I consider it joy May I consider it joy Cause we are created by being destroyed 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 we are created by being destroyed. 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 Destroyed. We are created by. Being being destroyed Woo. We are created by being destroyed We are created by being Great. We have one more song picked out for you. Um, but before we play that, um, how about it for uh, Greg on the soundboard back there? Thank you so much. And Brian, who's running the live stream. Um, and thanks to uh, your music director, Leah, for uh, finding us, inviting us to play, and being such a gracious host. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. And thanks to all of you um, for your amazing listening attention and good vibes. This is uh, really nice to play in, play in here tonight. Um, we're going to finish up here um, with a song that is actually one of the very first songs that I ever wrote more than 20 years ago. Um, and I haven't played it for probably a decade. Um, and for some reason, it felt like the thing to do tonight. Um, It's called Sister, and I'm going to send it out to my sister.
Once again, Emmanuel Alexander, Kevin Matthews, Greg Harris. My name's Jamie Stone. We are Folk Life. Thank you so, so, so much for listening.